Hi there, Johnny here from johnnylipsrumstudios.co.uk and welcome to episode number nine of my Studio One 4.5 series that we've been working our way through. We're getting close to the end now, folks. Um, but in this episode, we are going to look at a couple of different um, new features here. We're going to look at um, the new smooth audio waveforms, new smoothing technology that they've introduced to make the waveforms look a lot smoother, especially when you're zoomed in and doing fine editing. Uh, we're also going to look at the new snap to zero crossings option, uh, which is very, very cool, and you can play with that to your heart's content. It is not an option I tend to use, um, that kind of thing. I, I am quite happy with um, the way things have been in that regard, but suffice to say I think this is going to be a game changer for those that do real fine um, editing super zoomed in and they want to snap um, to they want the grid to snap to the zero crossing of the audio waveform so let's take a look at both of those so we will start with the smooth audio waveforms now this is not set as default I should tell you that right now it's not set as default Let's pick an event. Let's go for this guy. Let's just uh, zoom this guy in a little bit. Uh, we'll zoom it in just a little bit. Now, this is not set as default. Um, you have to go and select it. And once you've selected it, it stays selected. Okay. So how do we select smooth audio um, waveforms? Well, we go to the Studio One menu. Uh, on a Mac, this is going to be Preferences, then Advanced, and then Editing, and then you there's a, a checkbox. So on a PC, we go Studio One, Options, and then we go uh, to Advanced, and then we take the Editing tab here, and there it is down at the bottom, Draw Smooth Waveforms, and that's the one we want to check. Um, by default, it is not checked. You need to check it. Um, I have had this checked um, in the last uh, few episodes, so um, there it is set for me, and then we go, you would go uh, apply and then OK, I'm just going to go OK, and what that means is now that um, this is now super smooth when super zoomed in, and it looks just so much better than previously, it would be a little bit squared off. Um, but now, you know, all the all the peaks and troughs are nice and smooth curved, which is awesome. And it makes editing just that much easier. Okay, so that's that. The, uh, the other feature we're going to take a look at, as I said, is the snap to zero crossings option. So the way you get to that is you go to the snapping options at the top here. So you have quantize, time base, then snap. Now under here, I have this set to adaptive and I've had Studio One set to adaptive since 2015 and I just left it there. I have not changed it um, until I started um, taking a look at this. So adaptive, I click on the down arrow and here are all your options. So you've got snap to cursor and loop, snap to events, snap to grid, relative grid, and then this one here, snap to zero crossings. And when I engage that, uh, for me, it's not going to do an awful lot, but for for you guys, when you are quantizing audio, it will snap to the zero crossings of the waveform, which you will find incredibly valuable for doing some uh, fine editing and making sure that um, what you're working with lines up to the grid. Now, this is this can be set independently, so you can have it set um, as adaptive here. On the range of view or in the uh, music editing view hang on there we go uh, you can set this differently so at the moment it's set to quantize or adaptive I've got it set here I've got it snapped to zero crossings in the range of view and here I have it snapped to grid but I could change that to snap to zero crossings if I wanted and had the other have the other one set to snap to grid so I can have them completely independent of each other um, because I might want to do much more fine editing down here than I might want to do up here. So I might have the zero crossing selection set here and I might have the more um, just generic one set up here. Okay, so I hope you find that useful. 
I would suggest you go and give this one a try out on your projects and uh, hopefully it will make a big difference to you guys. All right, so that's it for this video. I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.